So welcome back everybody. Uh, basically today I'm messing around with one of the uh, dev builds and I just thought we'd take a little look at what I've just been building. It's pretty much finished. All this is is a demo. It's basically a little particle accelerator. Okay, so when you're inside your engine room, you activate it and it'll start pulsing around the engine room and then you get this sort of glowing effect going on. It's going round and round and round. If I was in uh, astronaut mode and I just pulse this, loads, you can see it's going with my pulse, right? Now if I step away from the reactor, <laughs> it's going to get a bit confused and start blinking at me because there's a delay and as you can see it's like the last one I made only without the doors opening and closing and there is a 1.5 second delay between each section um, it was super easy to make just put a bunch of like um, a bunch of delay blocks down and then I've hidden them behind behind the hole and put in this sort of funny pattern see anything from underneath. It's all hidden away now. But basically I've just used the new connection system that we were previewing earlier. And as you can see it allows for automation. Um, it's a wireless logic system. And like I say I'm experimenting with the automation of lights in um, sort of infinite loops. Because this will never stop until until you break the uh, until you break it, anyway. If you break it, it will stop. So yeah, it's interesting. A bit like the uh, the ship that I made as well, but it's probably a little bit easier to demonstrate. But um, yeah, all it is is three delay blocks linked to a light and the next delay and the next bank um, none of the lights are actually attached obviously um, so what I can do is I can just grab this null pointer for anyone that missed it earlier on I'm going to be taking a break in a minute so uh, I'll show you this <coughs> oh, looks like I already bought one. this is the null pointer um, there's one thing that needs to be done which is to connect the last delay block to the first activation block and then it will loop like a, like a clock B, there we go, done and what it's going to do is if I press C it will show me what this is linked to this is linked to a delay block if I press C on the delay block that's linked to the next delay block and so on all the way down but each delay block is also linked to the light in front of it and the door ahead of it so the door opens and the light comes on so if I turn it on doesn't do anything oh yeah that's turning it on right now turn it off bing and off it goes sends the pulse down okay and then it closes the door and turns the light off behind it. And because it's a loop, look at that. Oh no, Omega, don't go. I'm explaining this for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. But anyway, because I think a lot of people have seen this, so it's a very simple application of logic and a loop. You know, so if I bash this like really fast, or just when it turns off, and now it'll go a bit nuts. So you got your LED bar. See how it seems to like stack up on itself because I went really fast and then really and then and slow. So you've got the fast ones coming in, and then the slow ones, and they'll actually overlap each other. It's crazy if you watch this thing. It's just crazy. But I think the effect kind of looks like they're dropping down. But yeah, like people are going to be building this stuff into corridors, weapons, 
decorative just lights, landing lights, marking lights, turning lights. It's just, this so this is crazy. It does look like it's charged. I'm charging my laser. <laughs> and trust me. Oh dear. Warp cores in engineering. It's just you know the concept just keeps going. 